Imagine going to school one day and while in class a group of armed men come and take everyone in your school hostage. This is the horrible ordeal that kids went through in the Beslan school siege, located in the southern part of Russia near the borders of Georgia and South Ossetia. For the small population of around 35,000 people, Beslan was for the most part a quiet, desolate town. However, everything would change on September 1st, 2004, when a group of terrorists would enter the school and hold everyone in there hostage. The group responsible for this was Riyadh Salihin. Also known as the Islamic Movement of Uzbekistan, they were a militant organization with origins in Uzbekistan. Initially formed to establish an Islamic state, it became associated with extremist activities, including acts of terrorism. The group aimed to overthrow secular governments in Central Asia and promote its interpretation of Islamic law. It had links to other terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and was known for its involvement in armed conflicts in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The organization was designated as a terrorist group by various countries due to its violent tactics and extremist ideologies. The man responsible for this whole ordeal was Shamil Basayev, who was a prominent Chechen rebel leader known for his role in the Chechen conflicts against Russian rule. He was also a key figure in the First and Second Chechen Wars, leading various insurgent groups. Basayev was considered a skilled military strategist and was responsible for organizing high-profile attacks. And so on September 1, 2004, 32 armed individuals would storm the school and take more than 1,000 hostages, including pupils in both primary and secondary grades, and also their teachers as well as parents and relatives who had gathered to celebrate the opening day of the new school year. The horrifying ordeal lasted for three days, marked by extreme conditions and violence with the whole gym with rigged explosives. The hostages were also subjected to harsh treatment, with many deprived of water and food. The gym was also overcrowded leading to dire sanitary conditions. Russian authorities would begin negotiation talks with the terrorist whose demands included the withdrawal of Russian troops from Chechnya. However, negotiations broke down after two days. On the third day, local authorities received permission from hostage takers to remove bodies lying in front of the school that have been there since the siege began. A few minutes later, loud explosions were heard. This prompted the Russian special forces to enter the building. A chaotic and intense firefight ensued, resulting in a tragic loss of life. The attackers detonated explosives, causing the school roof to collapse. Many hostages were killed by explosions or in a subsequent fire in the gym. Others were slain by the attackers or perished in the ensuing chaos of shelling and gunfire. Hundreds of the survivors were wounded, and many suffered lasting psychological harm. After the gunfight had ended, 333 people were dead, 186 of them children. As well as 31 of the attackers, Russian forces ultimately killed all but one of the known militants. The survivor, Nur Pashi Kulayev, escaped the school and was nearly lynched before authorities captured him. He was convicted in 2006 of terrorism, hostage-taking, and murder, and was sentenced to life in prison. The Beslan school siege shocked the world prompting widespread condemnation of the perpetrators and raising questions about the Russian government's response. The incident underscored the complex and deeply rooted issues surrounding the Chechen conflict, emphasizing the impact of terrorism on innocent civilians, particularly children. The aftermath of the Beslan tragedy led to increased security measures in Russian schools and a re-evaluation of the government's approach to the ongoing conflict in Chechnya. The scars left by the siege continue to affect the survivors and the broader community, serving as a stark reminder of the human cost of terrorism and geopolitical conflicts. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment any other incidents you think I should talk about.